Okay, everybody, here we are. This is my post-market wrap-up on this Friday, February 7, 2020. I am calm, cool, and relaxed for now. But we have a lot to talk about. I need to explain something to you, a few things that are glaring and they are in our face. Now, before we get into the, the heavy stuff here, Let's let's go over um, these markets uh, down across the board. Nothing major, down nonetheless. Um, crude oil down about one percent. Cryptocurrency is about flat. Metals about flat. Actually, I'm going to check that for you right on my website. Uh, check my website, people. I redid the whole thing for you. I took. A lot of your suggestions and are right on the top of my website I'm going to give this to you right here you can look at it yourself crude oil uh, finished down about 1.25 percent gold put on 0.2 percent silver down 0.6 percent platinum up 0.52 percent and palladium down 0.72 Bitcoin finished down fractionally still $9,738.17. Um, anyway, yeah, so when you get a minute in the description of this video is a link uh, to my brand new website. A lot of input from you, all of you. I took a lot of you up on suggestions and it's all there. All right, that's out of the way. Have a look. Let me know what you think. So people, let, let me, I want you to understand a few things. And I don't want you to take what I'm saying the wrong way, because some people automatically jump to conclusions, okay? Let's try to get focused for a moment. This thing with this virus, okay, it's a serious thing. There's no doubt about it, people are dying. Um, but, again... Pay attention to how this is being portrayed on the mainstream media. Generally, when there is something that has the potential for public harm, it's hidden from you. Again, you're kept in the dark. This, every effort that they can possibly come up with, uh, is being used to keep it in your face. Keep it in your face. Keep it in your face. Fear. 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 Now, why? Why do you think that this is happening? It all comes down to dollars and cents. That's what runs the world, okay? Whoever controls the cash box controls the world. Now, what's the setup? What do we know is going on? Okay, let's talk about that real quick. We have a dire dire situation going on here in the debt market. It's unprecedented. We are existing underneath a Frankenstein debt bubble that every effort imaginable to keep it hyperinflated uh, is going on right under our nose. The Fed is pumping this market like we have never seen before. Way worse than anything under the last guy, okay? You're not supposed to know that. Well, also what you're not supposed to know is, I mean, look this up for yourself. 2020, it is projected that we will take in 3.6 trillion in tax dollars. However, the budget uh, has already priced in missing that mark by over one trillion dollars just for this year 2020 what does that mean it means that the federal reserve has got to step in here and and conjure that cash out of thin air add it add it to a digital screen add pile on more debt onto the backbone of the united states and its citizens it's amazing imagine if you worked like that uh if you said okay this is the cash I have to work with, but I'm going to spend 25% more than that 
And uh, let's see, someone's just going to give me the cash to keep going. So the mechanism is in place here. Now, we understand going back to the virus, going back to the fact, fact, that we are in a global slowdown, which includes the United States people. In 2010, the, the, the heart, the dead center of the financial meltdown, 2010, the labor force participation rate was 64.7. Today, it's 63.3. Let that sink in. There are less people working today than during the Great Recession, but you're not supposed to know that. The propaganda ministry will not allow you to know that. We're adding jobs. We're booming. Our economy is strong as it's ever been, but we're running trillion dollar plus deficits. Now, back to the virus. In your face. In your face, fear. What is it all about? Well, being that we are in a global slowdown, including the United States, being that in order to maintain where we are right now, we cannot do it without exploding the debt much bigger than it is and adding to our deficits. It's already baked in again. <laughs> 3.6 trillion in tax revenue, we're going to spend a trillion more than that. All right, it's already baked in. The Fed is the player here. We're getting calls again. Larry Kudlow and the president today calling for the Fed to be more aggressive in lowering rates. What does that mean? More debt. So they're creating a situation, you understand? Fear. The virus. Fear. Okay giving the a, re, a reason for you to expect that more cash is going to be borrowed into existence. The Fed moved higher to the top of the pyramid. It's their final solution. Understand that you're being played here. The fear factor, the fear factor. They're making you afraid because the solution is to add more debt, you understand? This has been in the works way longer than this virus was dispersed. Understand my language. Virus was dispersed. Uh, a reason to instill fear in the people, keep it at the forefront of their minds, keep them laser focused on the virus, ignore everything else. How many of you knew for example, that we're going to take in 3.6 trillion in tax revenue, but we're going to spend a trillion more than that. It's already baked in. Did you know that? Did the president explain that to you during the State of the Union? Of course not. You can't know it. It's above your pay grade. Did you know that the labor force participation rate is lower today than during the heart of the financial crisis? No. You're being told we're adding jobs. We're booming. Everything is fine if that's the case. Why is the Fed pumping the debt market the way it is right now? Why are we running Frankenstein debts and deficits? Because we're booming? Does that make any sense to you at all? No, it doesn't. And it shouldn't because we're not. We are in free fall. Absolute free fall. And the only thing, the only thing giving the illusion that things are okay is the stock market. How is the stock market being maintained where it is? By a debt expansion cycle, the likes of which the world has never seen. Now, be warned, people. Be warned. Now, I want to, I want to say this, and I'm going to say it right here and now. There is not one guy on the planet, nowhere, wherever you want to look, that has called the Federal Reserve better than I have. All these years, I have been wrong once. Anyone that's been following me all these years will attest to that fact. This is the truth. I'm telling you right here, right now, February 7, 2020, the Federal Reserve will, will be cutting rates drastically this year. Uh, it's all part of the setup now. Again, the fear of the virus, the virus, 
It's the virus that's causing a global slowdown. The entire world is slowing down, including the United States. The solution is to add more debt. And all this is doing is bringing about the end game, the goal of the Federal Reserve. That is to be the lender and buyer of last resort. You understand? This is a multi, multi, multi-decade engineered scenario. And it can only get worse from here. Again, we are running over trillion dollar deficits by design, by design. Nothing is what it seems. When you see uh, the mainstream media pushing a particular agenda, believe me, this is a script that they are all fed. They're all reporting the same things, showing you the same pictures, pointing to what you should be afraid of. It's working. People are fearful. Again, I'm not saying this is not a real thing and people shouldn't be afraid. It's being overhyped. It's being used as a tool here um, to, again, give a reason why we need to cut rates, a reason why we need to borrow more cash into existence. It's all about debt. The central bank's one and only product. That's it. You can sit there and listen to any Federal Reserve official or the, the Fed chair, Yellowstein himself, whoever it might be, and they can sit there and talk to you about this, that, and the other thing. The only thing they do is manage debt and issue more of it in greater and greater and greater amounts. They want to rule the world. They already do. By causing us to transact in their product, okay? Fiat notes, added to a digital screen, printed out of thin air, and you don't even own them. These notes that you have in your pocket are not yours. They are owned by the issuing central bank, in this case the Fed, and owed back to the issuing central bank, plus cash they print out of thin air, and we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing. Their final solution, their last push, which we're seeing now, is going to require more debt than we have ever seen uh, be borrowed into existence. Again, this is how they win. By allowing a central bank to issue more of its product, they become stronger every day. They create more slaves on an unprecedented scale. Let me ask you, why do you think the President of the United States, for example, I'm just going to use him as an example, but it could be most members of Congress are very against any alternative means of transaction. They don't want you transacting in gold. They don't want you transacting in silver, platinum, palladium. They don't want you bartering. They don't want you, God forbid, transacting in any cryptocurrency or any non-central bank issued note. So you understand why members of Congress, the president, don't want that. They're in on the game as well. The only people who are not in on it are you. You're not supposed to know any of this. I'm going to tell you something that you're not supposed to know, uh, and I will be proven correct. The election has been decided already behind closed doors. The president, President Trump, will win the next election. There is no doubt. It's not even, a, there's no shot whatsoever because it's already been decided. You get to find out after the election. You understand? So, again, going back to what I was explaining to you earlier today, the generally, when there is a public threat, it's hidden. Right now, it's in your face. It's being done by design to create fear, make you afraid. Again, for those of you that are getting triggered, I'm not saying it's not a serious thing. It is a serious thing. People are dying, but it's being weaponized. The virus is being weaponized against you to allow for lower rates, for to allow for more 
debt that's already baked in. It's already baked into the budget. You understand? I really hope all of this is making sense to you. But this year, 2020, you can expect the Federal Reserve to drastically cut rates. And it's very simple. It's being set up right under your nose. The question is, are you smart enough to see it? Um, that really is the question. All right, before I let you go one last time, please check my website. I worked on it all day long. I added all the things you asked for. In the description of this video is a link. Take a second, look at the page. Greg, it looks good. I'd like to see this, move this, whatever. I promise to read the comments. Um, so people, with that said, it is, it is Friday. And I'm going to leave you off with what I always do, although I forgot last Friday and, well, yeah, last Friday. And it, it hurt me, but I did post it. Anyway, people, look, think about what I just spoke about in this video. Do you see what I am talking about? This is all a game. It's not real. You're being played your pawn. Understand that. You have no voice whatsoever. Your decisions are being made for you. You're being told what to do. You're being told where to look. You're being told what to be afraid of. You understand? Break out of it. Free thought, free action, and free movement. That's a big three. I'm going to give you another big three. You ready? Love each other, care about each other, and be charitable. People, I will see you Sunday when I do my markets, a look ahead. We're going to have a lot to talk about. I, I really hope to see you there. I am out of here, and um, I really do love all of you. See you.